Most people think of the garage as somewhere where they just park their car or store all of their stuff, but some men are reclaiming it as their own. Architect Rob Nacky rebuilt his from the ground up. Let's go take a look. I constructed the garage probably about 10 years prematurely. My goal is to take better advantage and more utilize the garage once my children are moved out of the house and off to college. Well, the reason we constructed the garage when we did was that Mother Nature decided to drop a tr large tree branch on top of the previous garage to the point where it wasn't worth saving. I designed a new garage and my wife, who's also an architect, just thought it was too generic, too traditional, wanted me to do something a little bit different since we had the chance to do so. Favorite gadgets include a overhead hoist system that allows me to lift heavy objects from the floor up onto the loft for storage purposes, also a vacuum cleaner lift which allows me to lower down a vacuum to vacuum the entire space from one place and then lift it back up again and vacuum the loft from the, from the same area as well. I also like the side storage closets which allow me to keep um, unsightly objects and valuable objects behind lock and key even when the garage is open. Some of my favorite architectural features are the glass door that provides a connection between the backyard and the house and the interior space of the garage itself. I'm also a big fan of the uh, floor that we're standing on right now, which is something that's very cleanable and also it lets water through. A lot of the things that are in this garage I actually found on eBay, including much of the Mopar Chrysler um, objects, as well as the floor and the hoist waste system. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Kind of makes me want to have my own space. But not all guy space has to be designed around the car. Take Tom Gardner, for instance. He designed his garage space to include everything but the car. Check this out. Well, I had a couple of fancy sports cars, but they uh, foolishly turned into fishing boats, so the space was open. We have uh, kind of a unique situation here. We have a coach house, it's four floors, and we have a one bedroom, a two bedroom, and then a duplex with five bedrooms. And the key to the whole place is the 800 square foot deck above this and this 20 by 20 garage, which really becomes our living room. I used to sell prints on FNN and I had a lot of connections in the poster business. So you can see around the walls, there's a lot of fancy art that's all posters. A stained glass, skylight, heat, bar, refrigerator, um, Fancy art, that was it for a couple of years, and of course the loft's fun to look at. But I'd say today the big hit is the eight and a half foot screen. Uh, quality is excellent, it enables us to play internet Texas Hold'em. And we have several different ways to do it with five monitors. But what it enables us to do is to have the Rolling Stones on one monitor, the Cub Game, which is on right now behind us. There is poker instruction on the eight and a half over there. And the fifth monitor is whatever anybody wants that's network, that's not cable. So I'd say if you lump all these combinations together, it's sitting around this table with six friends and room for four guests. And we just have an awful lot of fun. As you can see, Tom put all of his personality into his garage, but no matter what your interests are, as long as you have the space, you can make it work for you.